The artificial intelligence model, ChatGPT, was released a little over a year ago. Since then, other language AI models and more have grown in popularity, and their advancements have been significant. ABC 31 News reporter Brandon Brown shows us conversations local universities are having about AI and their plans to show resilience in the face of AI. What do you think of when someone mentions artificial intelligence? Everyone has their own reservations about the technology, but students like Joseph Barber are already utilizing it as a tool in everyday life. It's not going away. It's here, you know, calculators never went away. People use them every day now. Since the emergence of ChatGPT and other large language AIs, the technology has taken the world by storm with over 180 million users, and ChatGPT only took five days to reach one million users. It's because of the growing popularity and use of AIs like ChatGPT that lawmakers are having to keep an eye on the technology. Louisiana, as of January, adopted an amendment to have the Joint Legislative Committee on Technology and Cybersecurity study the impact of artificial intelligence on operations, procurement, and policy. As the legislature is studying AI and its implications, so are universities and educational institutions. That's why this year's Conference of Louisiana's Colleges and Universities focused on AI in Louisiana higher education. If we teach our students that you can rely on AI, that, that's a problem. If we don't educate our students about how AI is formed and how it works, that's a problem as well. I think if we can allow students to really see the opportunities that arise, I think we'll see them find new opportunities for AI that we could never envision. And I can only imagine what could happen with the amazing uh, abilities of our students in central Louisiana to see what they could really do if they're really taught how to leverage AI successfully. Universities across the nation are being tasked with implementing more specific policies regarding the use of AI. Those changes are all coming at a rapid pace, says Tanya Luter. We encouraged faculty to put an AI statement into our syllabi. Um, that started in January, I mean, and right when everything was starting to hit. And I think that that was a very nimble thing to do. Luter says some educators may see AI as a threat to universities and academic integrity, but she doesn't see it that way. She sees it as an asset for learning. Some of the students that are disadvantaged, some of the students that maybe have not grown up in, a, in, a, in an environment where they can speak properly or write properly, it will, hopefully they could use it to, to help um, gain those skills. Now. Um, if they use it completely and don't learn from it, don't embrace the why, don't embrace the, the, um, the, the learning, then there's, a, there's a, a different problem there. So as educational institutions, Andrew Schwartz says the key to universities showing resilience in the face of AI is doing what universities were modeled for, educating the future. There needs to be an understanding of the task that you're trying to accomplish with the te technology and the technology that you're using to accomplish that task. And then we can really s allow our students to see how the technology can enhance what they're doing and or maybe not enhance what they're doing. Brandon Brown, ABC 31 News, that works for you.